talk to God. You can talk to God in the Holy Ghost. You can talk to God in the Holy Ghost. Because he understands every language. He understands this. The Father removed the spirit. The spirit of Lord of pride. The spirit of Lord that makes us feel that we're better than one another. Why don't we break that? Nigerian women in diaspora praise in collaboration with the Central Association of Nigerians in the UK coming together under one umbrella uniting the Muslim and the Christian uh, women in the UK to pray for Nigeria it's a wonderful experience um, I wouldn't have been in any other place uh, today because today we prayed for Nigeria we didn't just pray for Nigeria we also got some information from uh, Association of African Insurance Practitioners, represented by Tunde Loye of MetLife, on how members of our community should start to embrace insurance. We should start to take insurance to preserve our life, to, to help uh, our lives, develop our children and all that. But more importantly, people have left their different homes today to come and pray for the nation of Nigeria. And this is what we should be doing because we live in the diaspora where there's light, there's water, and crime is uh, far more uh, reduced. Uh, but in Nigeria, we have a lot of challenges, and we cannot leave our brethren in Nigeria. Our Central Association of Nigerians in the UK, we continue to bring out, you know, collaborate with members of the community to develop initiatives that can improve the lives of our people. Because we believe that the, our country, Nigeria, needs help from Nigerians that live in the diaspora. We cannot leave home, even though we live here, but we always have to be uh, home-minded as well. As We want to be very fantastic um, uh, British uh, citizens. We also have to remember that we came from somewhere. Many of us, we still have to return back to Nigeria. Some go for holidays, but we cannot afford to say that, oh, we, we are completely cut off out of Nigeria, and that's why we keep uh, collaborating with members of the community that have initiatives. My name is Pastor Ola. You know one thing, I've just finished with the Women's Day of Prayer. The women in diaspora, believe you me, I'm encouraging many of you. I know this program is going to come up again. I'm encouraging as many women that are out there, please, any time you hear about prayer, they please be there. It's wonderful. Everyone is coming together to pray for the nation of Nigeria. And you know one thing, I thank the Lord that I was here and Nigeria is going to go to places. Please, women out there, when you hear about this program, in your Facebook, on Twitter, wherever you are, please try and be here. God bless you. And it was wonderful. You missed out. God bless you. My name is uh, Prophetess Margaret Adeo Dusoin. By the grace of God, I'm the president and the founder of the Nigerian in Diaspora Praise UK. This group was set up to pray for Nigeria. And um, about two and a half years ago, the Lord gave me a vision of what was to come to happen in Nigeria. Uh, the issues of Boko Haram, issues of our gates, our borders being left open, issues of innocent blood shed, 
For by the grace of God, the Lord said if, that I should gather all Nigerians, women in the United Kingdom, and pray, and there will be a deliverance for our land. And I want to thank God, especially today, because the glory of God really, God took absolute control of this event. And I want to thank especially the Kanuk, Chief Bimbo of Alion, the chairman of Kanuk, and all the executives of Kanuk who really collaborated and worked tirelessly to make sure that this day is a success. I want to bless God for that. And as we have prayed, we know that the peace of God is now resting in Nigeria. We know that there will be no more bloodshed, that the Lord has arrested the, the spirit that is troubling our nation in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know this is just the beginning of greater things to come. As we plan to hold this event every four months by the grace of God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank every uh, member of this committee that have worked tirelessly with us. You know, this is not about my ministry. By the grace of God, I have a ministry called the Broken Hearted Ministries. Um, but this is about a, niche, a, a vision that is even larger than myself. And that is about the heart of, uh, of Nigeria. And I believe that God is about to touch our, change our nation. I believe that I pray that the Lord is going to open the door uh, of nations. The Lord is going to touch our president, all the leadership, people in leadership. And as we are praying for them and we're standing in the gap for them, we are going to see great changes happen in Nigeria in Jesus' name. Amen. One nigga Maria, Abu, 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 Abu,